Hey, Brent Porcio, topvelocity.net. I wanna to talk about arm drag and how bad arm drag is for the arm. We're gonna isolate it specific to the elbow. I will mention probably some that it will jump into the shoulder because the shoulder is being put through a lot of torque as well. But the reason arm drag is so bad and the more medical terminology for it is hyperangulation. And the famous Dr. Job is no longer with us, actually credited a lot of the, you know, the elbow injury, which he's the one who first developed the Tommy John technique with Tommy John. Uh, he said a lot of the injury is coming from this biomechanical flaw called hyperangulation or arm drag. So what is arm drag? So it's the it, it's really defined as when you hit front foot strike and your trunk is open, if your elbow is behind the scapular plane, so your scap is your back basically. If your elbow is behind your back when your trunk is open, that's called arm drag or hyperangulation. There's several ways that it can happen. So the, the easy way that it can happen is you can pull ahead with your glove side and accelerate rotation very quickly and rapidly to where your cocking arm gets stuck back there. That's an easy way to do it. You could be someone who delays rotation but pushes out early in the forward tilt and then what happened is that when you really, when you launch all your energy, it quickly explodes into rotation. So really arm drag is the product of aggressive rotation, aggressive rotation. And like I'm saying, it can happen by you just either aggressively pulling your glove side or by you jumping ahead with your trunk forward late to rotate to where all your energy just pushes right into rotation. I just want to show you why it's so detrimental to the arm. I'm going to use this tubing here to help put, put the load in my arm. So say if I take the ball, right, and I go aggressively into rotation as I'm cocking the arm, you know, I need to get a little more tension in it. Right as I do that, I can feel all the stress, right? Same thing happens if I'm even late to rotate, but early to, to push my trunk out, when I get my arm cocked and I go into rotation, all this energy is about to explode and boom, all that stress hits my arm very quickly. Not only does it hit my arm quickly, but my arm fights to get out of stress. So what is getting out of stress? Getting out of stress for the arm is pronation. We've heard about this. It's when the thumb turns down. When the thumb turns down, it crosses the ulnar and the radius and it strengthens the joint and it relieves stress on the, the front of the elbow. So when your arm feels that stress and external rotation, it wants to quickly turn over with the trunk helping it to get out of that stress and release the ball because if it hangs there too long, that's why pushing the elbow in front of the face, if it hangs there too long, then the torque is, is on the arm and it's, it's a time under tension issue. And we start having damage just through torque or time under tension. So. And then the fix is, what is the fix? The fix is delaying both rotation and forward tilt. So the goal is when I land, I'm my chin is behind my belt buckle and my shoulders are closed. Because what will that do? That will give me time to cock the arm and I will now transfer all my energy that's coming up the kinetic chain into both forward tilt and rotation and when it's in both forward tilt and rotation your arm has time to or it, it pushes the load to the elbow more slowly because you have more time and more distance to transfer your energy as opposed to if you're early in forward tilt and it all comes aggressively in rotation if i have both forward tilt and rotation to transfer my energy, it gives the arm more time or less time under tension, meaning that tension is, is slowly building to the arm, and then by the time I pronate, it is peaked and it's already moving out. Okay, so that's a real critical understanding here. So I just wanna re reiterate, anytime we aggressively accelerate rotation, the torques to the arm jump very quickly, and depending on how long it takes to pronate, which if you're dragging your arm, it's going to hold time under tension with that torque too long. We can do that also, like I said, and even though you're staying close, you're transferring forward early, and then when you release your energy, you re release it late into rotation, putting maximum stress too early, and then 
holding time under tension too long. So when we give it the delay in the forward trunk, the delay in rotation, it, it slowly distributes the torque to the elbow and it gives it then more time to not only reduce the time under tension, but to then by the time it's ready to go into pronation, into rotation, pronation, that's quickly at the moment that the torque says peak so it can more quickly get out of time under tension. So I know that's very advanced stuff. I hope that helps. If you're confused on that, you probably need to learn first how the kinetic chain works. Go back and watch the videos on how I use the lower half to build energy and transfer it up the body. Then all that'll make sense. But that's a key thing there. If you're the guy pulling and dragging or late to rotate and you're feeling all this force on your elbow, you've got to get out of that time under tension by delaying forward tilt and rotation and giving the arm more time to transfer stress through the kinetic chain, through the arms and the ball. If you have any questions on that, let me know. Thanks for watching.